Hi there, my YouTube peeps. Um, I First, I want to thank you all for the lovely um, birthday wishes and nice things you said um, from my last video from yesterday. I did have a lovely birthday, and, you know, a huge part of it was all of the um, good wishes and, and everything you guys sent me, so thank you. Um, I know I wanted to bath time confessional tonight, and I... I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to talk about, but I've been watching YouTube videos and it occurred to me that um, what I want to talk about tonight is how I am changed by having gone on this trip. And it's still emerging how I am changed and how the conditions around me have changed since I got home. But one thing is that... I went from a um, kind of a static, low energy, defeated place um, uh, where my home and my life, uh, my surroundings, all of that was concerned, to a position of feeling very dynamic, having a lot of energy, focus, uh, knowing what I want, not sweating the small stuff, getting things done incrementally, but quickly at the same time. It's, uh, it's profoundly different than it was before I left. And I had been in this rut, I guess you could call it, for months and months and months. Um, and it's seeming effortless um, to do things like organize paperwork, edit stuff out of my life, throw things away, clean things up, plan what needs to be done next. Um, all of that. It's really been uh, amazing. So, I guess some, I don't know, cosmic consp constipation's been blown out of my world. So, that feels really good. The other thing that I... Um, I'm coming to realize is that I'm perfectly placed in my in my world right here where I am. Um, part of what I was looking for, I think, I didn't realize that this at, this at the time, but I think I was looking for um, my next home, maybe a place to move to um, after having left California, and. Now that I'm back in my home um, and my neighborhood and my environment, I realize just how happy I am here and how appropriate this place is for me in my life for lots and lots of reasons. Um, part of it is that my family's here and just wants me to plug it in. Um, my mom is still alive and I want to be uh, around her for as long as I possibly can be. Um, my kids are here. I don't think they're ever going to want to live anywhere else. They both love California. They, you know, their friends, their jobs, everything they do is, is pretty much structured right here. I just don't see them wanting to leave. Um, the same is true with Grant. I mean, his kids don't live here, but um, his history is here as well. So that coupled with my love affair with the Sierra Nevada mountains where I live at the foot in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas. I love these mountains with all my soul and even though California is getting harder and harder to live in, um, more regulated, um, it, more and more expensive. I mean, it, it's it's a hard road to hoe here sometimes, but given all that, I am feeling very happy, satisfied, fulfilled, and blessed by where I live. So, that was kind of interesting. Um, concurrent with that, though, is another realization, and that is that my home isn't just California. My home is is all of the United States, and it's the world, really. Um, and 
when I get lonely for upstate New York or Massachusetts or Alabama or the Carolinas or Kentucky or Oklahoma City or any other place that I've been or haven't been, it's I can hook up a trailer and grab my husband, book a few craft shows and go and visit those extended places where my heart also also rests. So, um, my trip ex expanded um, my experience of the country, this country, really, um, in a surprising way. I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't expect anything, so I didn't know what to expect. So what's shaking out is all kind of new. Um, but it's nice to know that I've seen some places and some people that, well, you know, live on in my heart forever. And, um, and whom and which I want to no, I will not just want to. I know I will visit again. So that's kind of a neat, kind of a neat feeling. Um, yeah, I've also uh, developed a real curiosity for places that I didn't get to see. Um, the, the Carolinas, in particular, I really wanted to see um, see that whole area and. I will do so probably on my next trip. Um, there are all kinds of places that I didn't get to see that I want to see. I wanted to go to Maine. Um, I wanted to explore Vermont even more than I did because I loved Vermont. Um, I want to go back to New Orleans and that whole Gulf Coast area. Um, I want to see West Texas. I want to see the Hill Country. So, yeah, there are, I've never seen the Grand Canyon. I want to go see the Grand Canyon. So, there are, there are destinations on my list that I'm, I'm definitely going to make, you know, make tracks to one of these days soon. So, anyway, that's all. Just wanted to share some of that with you guys. And um, I think I'm going to go to bed now. Bye.